Hey YouTube land, check this out. This here is a Baby Hawk R Pro. Really awesome quad and I'm gonna review it in this video, but look what I've attached to it. This is a six cell battery. Look at the size of this thing. Do you think this little Baby Hawk R Pro can lift that? What are you gonna find out in this video? Stay tuned. Hey YouTube, welcome to my channel. Well, today I'm pretty excited because I have a race quad, FPV race quad, that I have wanted to try out for some time and I finally have it. It is called the Emax Baby Hawk R Pro. This thing is like advanced technology all squished into this tiny little quad with four inch props, insanely high motors that will just spin crazy if you put a 6S battery on here. I have only one FPV race quad that takes 6S batteries and it's got like seven inch props. This has got like four inch props and a 6S battery is a lot of volts, but this apparently can take it. But thankfully they do include a 4S battery so that you can get up and start it and fly around with a 4S battery. Anyways, let me show you what comes in the box and then uh, we'll get into flying this thing. Here we have the Emax Baby Hawk R Pro FPV racing drone. Inside the box you get the Baby Hawk R instructions, you get the instructions for the camera, you don't really need those, and you get some stickers. Included with the kit you get a four cell battery, 850 milliamp, and it is a 60C rated one, uh, XT30 connector, and a nice little balancing plug here. You also get some high quality, these are really good, Simtar props. Check out how many props you get, holy cow, you get three full sets of props here, and they know you're gonna have fun with this, so you might damage one or two. Included is also some spare parts that you might need, a bunch of screws, zip tie, a nut for your props, and this is a weird one. Look at this. Let me show you where this goes. Here's your quad and your arm would go there or there. So if you hit something and break this, it's kind of hard, probably not, I won't say impossible, but close to it. You can see that's carbon fiber, extremely thick. It looks like about four millimeters. Um, yeah, then you have this spare arm here so you don't have to write to the company and buy another one. That is really sweet. Now let's take a look at the quad itself. These are brushless motors and they are 3300 kV so that's pretty decent. Taking a look at the rear of the drone we see the really nice carbon fiber nice and thick and then it's stacked between two other pieces of carbon fiber. So you have one on the top which holds the stack of electronics right here and then you have one on the bottom which is going to hold your battery strap. Your video antennas right here it shoots out at a max of 200 milliwatts. XT30 connector right on the side you can change that to anything you want an xt60 if you had to usb connector for beta flight configuration looking through the translucent cover you can see right there it looks like an eight that's where you're going to see your channels for your video and all your information displayed on that this is one of those high quality cad dx cameras s1 and it does have smart audio inside so you can change your video settings on your transmitter. Oddly enough, this really tiny four inch can take a 6S, so that means the ESCs on here are quite high and they are rated at 35 amps. There is a location beeper inside that can be configured to go on and off, as well as LED lights to configure as you wish. You'll see them flash on when I power this on. This thing is mighty powerful and can lift a lot more than its weight. So how much do you think this weighs? Let me just put it down. Let's add four props. Let's add the battery that's included with this one, 265 grams. If you wanted to get it under 250 grams, just put a smaller battery because it can take a three cell, a four cell, or a six cell battery. Now, one thing that's pretty obvious if you didn't notice it already, there is no battery charger included with this kit. It assumes that you know what you're doing and you have your own charging system. So it's nice they include a battery, a nice big one like this, but they didn't give a charger with it. So you will have to buy yourself one of many. You can see here I have uh, one, two, three, four, five. I have six battery chargers here. All right, so we're all set to charge our LiPo battery. I always put my LiPo batteries on a little metal plate and I'll hit start and there we go. It will charge up and we'll be out flying in no time. All right, now it's time to go fly this thing, but wait a minute, I have not bound my controller to it. So in the FPV world, I'll try to show this more and more in videos because so many people ask questions about FPV. You have to bind your controller, your radio, to whatever receivers in the quad. This one comes with a receiver in it. If not, I would put my own in. This one comes with a D8 FR Sky receiver. So uh, I think it's an FR Sky. Anyways, it's a D8 receiver. So that means I'll have to use something like a Tyrannus. Here are Tyrannus, this is a QX7 uh, radio to connect to the receiver in here. And as soon as I bind this to this, all I do is I set up what all my switches do to control this and then we're ready to fly. So I'll do that now. Next step, grab the instructions and try to find a schematic of the 
F4 flight controller and look for the bind button, which I don't see anywhere. <laughs> I don't know why these guys don't point it out in black and white, unless I'm blind. All you have to do, if you can't find it, just look for the receiver and someplace near the receiver is always the bind button. Yank this up and uh, there it is. There's my bind button because that's my receiver back here. There's no power going through so I can touch this thing right now, but you see that little button? that would be your bind button. So what you have to do to bind a quad to the radio is you're going to turn on the radio, set up a model in here, and then you'll go to bind and you will push that button in as you connect the battery. It will go into bind mode and you will bind this here receiver to that transmitter and life will be good. All right, so power on my Tyrannus. Welcome to OpenTX. So if you look at my Tyrannus QX7 here, I have a list of quads that I've connected to it, bound to it. Come on back on like there. So uh, what I'm going to do is they're almost all identical. I'm going to take the last one I did, Tiny Hawk S, and I'm just going to copy it to number seven. And that is the one that's going to be for this guy. And there we go. My last model number seven is now called Baby Hawk R. I couldn't fit the word pro. It just doesn't fit for some reason. So by doing what I just did, all the settings that I had in my radio for my Tiny Hawk S are now copied over to the Baby Hawk R Pro, which is pretty much Good. If I want to change anything, I'll just go into the menu and change what I want to change, switches and whatnot. But I think we'll be okay. So next step is just to bind my little quad down there to my radio. So first thing I'm going to do is go select my Baby Hawk R down here. And I'll go to the page right here where it says Baby Hawk R. And I'm going to go down to the bind. So here we have our D8 receiver, channel 1 to 8. And I'll go over here to where oop, bind, press this. So it should start chirping. That chirping sound is the radio saying, hey, I'm looking for a receiver to bind to me on this channel. So I'll just put you down here. I don't need you right now. Basically, I'm going to push this button in here and I'm going to just touch this battery to it so we get some power. Here we go. Hopefully the, the binding works. So now I'll just take my finger off the button, pull this out. Hit the exit on here. It says ID was used. Yes, 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 that's good. So now to see if it works, I'm just going to plug this in. This was my arm switch. Let's see if it's still the arm switch on here. Yep. So I am bound. I will have to probably set this up in Betaflight. If you've never used Betaflight before, watch a video on YouTube on how to use it because I'm not an expert and sometimes I have to watch the experts but I know enough just to be dangerous and to get my uh, quads flying. Here's my quad, it's probably all out of focus. I'm gonna plug in the USB cable and Betaflight should come to life. There we go, so you see the quad down here moving around and as I move this, they should move together because they are connected. All right, so the only thing left to do now is uh, take this out and let's go fly it. I'm looking forward to this, here we go. All right, so I've got the little baby hawk down there and what I've done, just so you can see uh, what I see when I'm flying, I've attached a little Mobius camera to the top with some Velcro and an elastic. This little quad should carry all this with no problem. All right, get my fat sharks in here. Put an acro mode. All right, this should be a lot of fun. Here we go, baby hawk R. Arm. And we are way up in the sky. Look at that thing go. Woohoo! Nice little flips. Whoa, <laughs> missed that pole at the last second. I don't know what I was thinking. I was like looking at something else. There, let's get this straight. There we go. Nice and smooth under that. Look at this thing. Oh my God. This is on 4S. There I am down there. Switch it into horizon mode. When I switch it into horizon mode, that's just massive stability so that allows me to uh, fly it over to me. It's kind of hard to see where I'm going. The Mobius is probably pointing straight ahead but my camera on the quad is pointing upwards so it makes it a little bit difficult. So I will land someplace along the track. I'll bring it down here and shut it off. There we go. And that was my first flight. So awesome. Now one thing I should show you is if I lost my little quad I can flick this switch. Hear the beeps? That's the finder beeper. And that tells me to come on over here. And there it is, beeping away. And I can flick the switch off. Beep.
beep off. All right, here's the 6S battery. Here's my little uh, baby hawk. It's either going to catch on fire when I attach this or it's going to work. So let's uh, see what we can do here. See if I can even get it on. This is a 1300 milliamp 6S. You'd probably use something like an 850 or you know, a thousand at the most. This is a way too big. Look at this thing. It, it weighs more than the, the quad itself. So can I lift this battery and this Mobius 2 with this 6S? I don't know. Let's see if she goes on fire or what happens. Let's uh, plug it in. Whoa, it came to life. I'm going to put the Mobius on. I'm going to fly it. Where's that? All right, here we go. See, I'm just going to leave my little GoPro over here, see if the camera will, see if it will even lift off the ground. This is going to be crazy. Let me just see, arm. Ho, ho, ho. Look at that when I arm it. Man, that is fast. It spins ridiculously fast for even an arm mode. All the switches are where they should be. Oh my God, it's too much power. Look at this. I have the throttle right off and it's still flying. I have to bring it down. Okay, that was utterly insane. I had it in horizon mode. I had the throttle at almost zero and it was just like whipping up. So I had to bring it down. And even when I brought it down, I had the throttle at zero. And it's just so much power that even in like an air mode, it's just kept on flying with that huge battery. So I don't even know if my beeper works because I think the battery might have flown off. Let's try. Okay, I just turned the beeper on. Let's see if I can find it. Hopefully I can find my Mobius and everything else. Look for a huge crash site and that will be it. Things I try for YouTube. Oh my God. Here it is. It, it thundered in pretty bad. So bad that the actual battery went flying off. Look at that. It couldn't handle it. The power. Oh, everything's hot on here. Oh, I think the battery chopped itself. Well, my Mobius is still there. So at least I saved that. And there's our battery over here. Woohoo! Is it hot? No, the battery's not too hot. All right, so lesson learned. That prop is a little bit bent, but uh, you know, that's just what happens with life. All right, YouTube land, that was my review of the Baby Hawk. I will say it's probably one of the best FPV four inch quads I have ever, ever, ever flown. It's got so much power. I like it better on 4S, obviously on 6S, it's insane but it can do success. Just don't do like me and attach some massive 1300 milliamp battery that weighs about uh, 20 times as much as the drone itself. It still flew, but it's just insane. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put links below to where you can find this quad. It's not super expensive. I don't know if there's any coupons with it, but it is an awful lot of technology. So you're paying for all the technology in here. If you're into the FPV race quad world, well then, this is probably the fastest four inch out on the market right now, I would have to say. But enough chatter for me. I'm going to say thanks for watching this video. Links are below the video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Um, now I know why they give you like so many extra spare sets of props because they know guys like me are going to put 6S batteries and go nuts and destroy this thing. But it is perfectly fine, ready for another flight. All right. Thanks again. Catch you in the next video.